Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute monster for you to have a look at today. This guy is an Acastus Knight Porphyrian from Forge World, an awesome large resin knight that are part of the knight range that they do produce. Uh, incredible model with loads of awesome details and most importantly, lots and lots of guns as you can see. Uh, it's been painted by Terry, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, so I do hope you're gonna like it in the video. For anyone new who's stopping by our channel, um, Siege Studios is a full service commission painting studio studio here in the UK. Uh, we have 28 members of staff that work for the business. Uh, all of them paint to a minimum of an above tabletop level all the way up to competition entry uh, pieces. So we can cover all different ranges of uh, requirements for your painting needs here at Siege. Plus on top of that, all the you know, building, cleaning, extra bits and bobs that you'd expect from us as a studio, freehand sculpting, all those kind of things. So if you are interested in a quote with us and you do like the contents of this video or any other that is on the channel, all you need to do very simply is just head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video, head to the contact form, select all the relevant drop down options, complete a model list in our format and fire that off to us to get your quote. Let's dive into this model and have a look at it in loads of detail. See you guys back in a sec. So guys, let's have a look at this absolute monster in more detail. An incredible model. It's been painted by Terry, one of the artists here at Siege. And uh, as per our client request, he has got a lot, a lot of battle damage. Tech priests will be crying if they saw how damaged he is. Um, so, <laughs> so let's pull him forward and have a look at him first of all, because obviously he's uh, quite far in the distance. But what I'll do is I'll just move the camera a little bit so you guys can have a look. I'll just bring this down so you can see a bit closer. Um, really, really, really cool model, as you can see. Let's just get to the focus. Uh, you can see all that damage uh, that's been painted on the armor panels here. The lovely, lovely chevrons that are all painted on the two flanking sides of the uh, main carapace. Uh, you've got every aspect of detail fully highlighted, picked out with weathering, chipping, and also edge highlighting where applicable. Uh, we've got a lovely kind of rust effect uh, and soot and dirt in between any of the metallics on here. Some lovely verdigris on that copper stack there as you can see uh, and all the details inside that lifted missile bay are all painted as well so that's just a lovely extra attention to detail that we've uh, put on the model here. Uh, moving around the back you've got that lovely vibrant red armour as you can see. Just move the camera a little bit higher just so you guys can get a real good uh, size of scale. This thing is huge and here's my hand as you can see and uh, just to give you a bit of an idea of the, of the overall size it Really, really cool model. Uh, and you've got this lovely heat bloom here on the barrels of the main armament as well. All the lenses picked out in a complementary blue, along with all of the uh, missiles, as you can see in that lovely missile rack here at the front. We'll just get that forward so you can see. You've got obviously the glass here all picked out with highlighting point of light source. We've got a lovely amount of weathering and scratching around these steps, just so that integration of sort of boots and things, uh, which is a lovely touch. Uh, and you've got those lovely weathered uh, chevrons there. And then we're just gonna lift him. He's obviously a very heavy model, just so you can see all the lenses and everything there fully highlighted. Uh, which is lovely. Uh, you've got these two extra auto cannons just on the side, just in case you didn't have enough guns. Uh, every lens there, even on the side of these both big sort of arm mount weapons as well. Uh, and then obviously if we just have a look at these legs here as so well, you can see all the chips and scratches and everything done on these as well really really imposing intimidating model uh, the thing i do particularly like is if you look at these feet all that rust effect has been put in there the soot and grime has just been put in between all those different panels and sort of filigree accent details on the feet there uh, all the scratches and everything all highlighted as well which is really nice uh, again overall of an incredible incredible model and terry's done a stellar job just adding all those details in there and picking everything out the red is an extremely vibrant red, so it won't really suit something. Our client, I believe, collects Blood Angels. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, but um, <laughs> incidentally, they do look really good in red. I've seen these models in lots of different colors, uh, but red does make it a, uh, a very standout, a standalone piece. Uh, with regards to the metal work, we'll just move around a little bit so you can see on the back again. Uh, the metalwork has got chipping and scratching and, and certain stuff added to it as well, just to really make it look you know, extremely battle worn and weathered as per our client's request. And we've got these the metallics at the back here, I'll just lift this so you can see, you've got all these extra details all picked out and highlighted. The, 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 the metal work looks extremely ancient as well as you'd expect, because these are very ancient sort of, uh, of titans. Um, but overall, a really, really cool model. And I love this lifting up uh, missile rack as well. I think it's a really, really nice way to hide those missiles and just uh, make sure they get to the target and do the damage. Uh, but again, every little lens all picked out. I like the fact that the door is a com is a is its own standalone colour just so it really shows off the access to the light as well, which is cool. And uh, again, you can see the different amounts of weathering and chipping and scratching that have been done throughout this on every bit of armour um, as well. Slightly heavier chipping towards the front as well, just because obviously that's where most the majority of the main fire would be taken would, would obviously be received, which is really cool. But you know, I do really like this as well. Uh, it's a very heavy piece as well. So if if you um if you are looking to get one of these, uh, don't expect it to be light because it's obviously solid resin. 
Again, just give it a little bit of a spin so you can see there as well. But overall, a lovely, lovely paint job that Terry's done on this. Just gonna lift that up there and just get that out of shot just so you can see it all again in its glory. We're gonna come back in a second and have a look at this and find out a bit more about how to take out a commission like, of something like this with us here at Siege. See you guys back in a sec. So once again, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you like this absolute monster of a night. It's a really cool model. Terry had a phenomenal time working on it. And I do hope you like all the details that you've seen in it. As always, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where the link to our contact form can be found. Click on that link and then head to that contact form to complete your selection and options on the drop down um, sections on that form. Enter a message to us with a list in our format that's detailed on that website fire that off to then get your quote in return. Uh, as always, please like uh, this video, drop us a thumbs up. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe so that we can keep up to date with all the projects that we do have uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, as they obviously get put up and all the old ones that we have on here as well. Uh, and finally, all of our other social media can be found on there as well. So we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook and obviously Twitter as well. If you can go give us a like and follow on those respectively, it would really help us out. As always, thanks for watching the video. I do hope you like this awesome night and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.